Everybody, this is Beetle Five, and welcome to another one of my reaction videos. Here I have with me the Ginger here. Hello, everyone. And today we will be reacting to the death battle between Scrooge McDuck and the Shovel Knight. Now, I really can't think think that this is gonna be a, too much of a fair fight. I mean, I've never played Shovel Knight, so I don't know. Yeah, too, too, never I never played it, so I don't know too much about him. And I'm, I'm assuming though he can fight at least. I know he's an indie yeah, platformer I know he can play game. With shovel. Yeah, I'm like, he hops on shit with a shovel. I mean, they, he can fight. I really don't know how Scrooge McDuck can fight. I don't know. DuckTales. Yeah, dude. The, the, the theme song is stupid catchy. But, I mean, I don't know how he can fight in any way. But I guess what they have in common is that they're both greedy. They both get gold or something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really thinking too much of this fight. But I think at the moment, I have to say Shovel Knight will probably yeah, win. Too. Unless they say that Scrooge McDuck could do something that could <laughs> counteract him. But, you know, maybe he could. I don't know. Yeah. But we'll see. All right, we're gonna start this death battle then in three, two, one, go. All right. Some people adventure for wealth. For others, the wealth is in the adventure. Eh, that's a huh. Either way, you'll yeah, just a recent death battle, yeah. Bounce of your enemy's heads. Like Scrooge <laughs> McDuck, the wealthiest waterfowl to ever live. <laughs> and Shovel Knight, a shining example of the code of chivalry. Chivalry. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. Yeah, his his game got like I think best indie game of 2016 or something. Oh wow. So I, I don't know. I heard it was amazing. In 1867, Scrooge McDuck was born to a poor family in Glasgow, Scotland. <laughs> he grew up a relatively normal duckling until his 10th birthday. Scrooge's father took him to see the remains of the old McDuck clan castle. See, their family wasn't always super poor. I can't believe there's comic books for stuff like this. <laughs> wow. That's gonna pull this out of. That's crazy. Problem was, it was an American dime, and Scrooge was in Scotland. Oh. <laughs> feeling pretty cheated. He got gypped. Scrooge he built his fortune by being, I quote, tougher than the toughies and sharper than the sharpies. <laughs> <laughs> Estimated net worth 300 quadrillion. <laughs> he invented the Super Bowl. No obstacle is too difficult to keep him Okay. By my estimations, his entire net worth today rests around 300 quadrillion dollars. As he is, he's got to defend his treasure trove somehow. So this wealthy waterfowl's got more guns than I do. What? Not to mention the trusty cannons he oh. hidden around his manor. Okay then. Uh, nothing like some old-fashioned artillery for home defense. <laughs> Scrooge also has a number of unorthodox high-tech firearms. Jesus Christ! Normal people, he's really got a lot of weapons for a duck. Is the one that can shoot through solid steel titanium. Okay. It's called the burglar stunner, but I'm pretty sure that'll do a hell of a lot more than stun you. <laughs> well, my favorite would be Scrooge's neutral friction and anti-inertia rays. By removing a target's natural friction and inertia, these guns can turn a foe so slippery they can't grip anything, or take away all momentum from that foe's movement. Wow. Huh. Right. Without friction, a person will slide miles upon miles. That's pretty crazy in terms of physics. <laughs> Without inertia, a cannonball will have even less impact than falling leaves. Though it is important to note that these guns do not affect personal gravity. Uh, yeah, science and stuff. <laughs> so if I were him, I'd prefer the feel of one of his rifles or swords. Or his signature sidearm, his trusty cane. <laughs> so that he just whacks shit, shit with. Yeah. Well, just look at the old quack go. Oh my god. Every duck can turn their cane into both a club and a pogo stick. Even when he's unarmed, Much like Shovel Knight. <laughs> for wealth has pushed his body past many preconceived limits. He possesses incredible strength. Let's say he could bounce on his king like Shovel Knight could bounce on his shovel. The dude's got some serious waivos. <laughs> One time when he was stuck in the savannah, he walked right up to a lion, beat it in a roaring match, and then just rode it all the way. <laughs> He's also a surprisingly skilled marksman. Like some sort of gun-toting Mr. Miyagi, he can shoot flies out Mr. of the Miyagi. air perfect Shoot precision. flies out of the air. slouch with a blade. Apparently, Buffalo Bill taught him how to knife fight in, uh... In June style. style. Uh, and, and now's a great time to remind you that Scrooge is pretty old. It was a different time. 
racism aside, it takes a lot to put this mighty mallard down. <laughs> he survived the Titanic sinking, being frozen solid in the Yukon. <laughs> what the f fuck, Teddy Roosevelt? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Dragged through a mine Dragged through a mine? Traveled to the Earth's core. The center of the Earth, which, if you've forgotten, what? is pretty much super lava. What that the fuck, man? Mildly. The Earth's core is estimated to be well over 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. More than hot enough to cook your goose. He's outrun a <laughs> cheetah, which can reach 75 miles per hour. He's stopped a charging water buffalo, which can weigh oh up to 2,600 pounds. Oh my goodness, cartoons and their fucking and physics, man. that legend where George Washington threw a silver dollar across the Potomac River? Well, Scrooge can do that, too. <laughs> and he even caught the coin on the other side. <laughs> because Scrooge isn't gonna waste a single dollar. What the Seems fuck, pretty man? impressive, but Scrooge has some massively problematic flaws. Least of all is his age. He's 150 years old. <laughs> that won't do him any favors in a fight. Oh boy. And why can't he fly? I mean, he's a duck with his own private plane. Made of gold? Teeth and they really should just hire a poultry scientist at Disney. Oh, I'll send my resume. I guess say he, he he has a he has a degree in poultry. Boomstick. He can often lose sight of his goals or explode into an uncontrollable rage if someone threatens his wealth. Uh -oh. He is pretty selfish and has a one-track mind. I don't know if the uncontrollable rage part, though, is such a bad thing. <laughs> Certainly not in some situations. Like the time Soapy Slick tried to rip Scrooge off, steal his property, and humiliate him by chaining him to a steamboat and making fun of his letters from home. Okay. Including one informing Scrooge of his mother's passing. That's more than enough to piss Ouch. Scrooge off. So much that he literally tore the entire boat apart with his bare hands. <laughs> he became the Hulk. <laughs> Basically. Damn, that's a real foul. Thing. Jesus Christ. Just goes to show that nothing can stand between Scrooge and his wealth. I don't know which was wilder in those days. The wolves or me. <laughs> 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 He's like, back off, Wolf. Wow. <laughs> All right, Shovel Knight. Ago, the world was wild, and adventurers roamed the land. The most famous of whom were partners Shield Knight and Shovel Knight. You can tell how good they are by the giant piles of loot behind them. <laughs> Shovel Knight and Shield Knight traveled together, and they were the stuff of legend. That is, until the Tower of Fate. Once inside, a cursed amulet knocked Shovel Knight out cold. When he woke up, Shield Knight was gone, and the tower was sealed shut. And boy, did that bum him out. So, like all depressed heroes, he abandoned everything and went to the wilderness to do a bunch of farming. Once fought a man whose power comes from hats. Okay. <laughs> took power, along with a group of villainous knights known as the Order of No Quarter. Ah, get it? It's funny. So, maybe retiring wasn't the most responsible idea. Man's gotta mourn, Wiz. Man's gotta mourn. You mean like when you took a week off to mourn after your divorce? I'm pretty sure all you did was get drunk and shoot fireworks at my house. Get drunk and shoot fireworks at my house. Anyway, chivalry break didn't last long. After the enchantress and her knights took hold of the land, the Tower of Fate unsealed. Knowing it was his only chance to find out what happened to Shield Knight, he dug back into action. And with him, he took his mightiest weapon. A shovel. <laughs> Don't sell it short, it's not just any shovel, it's a shovel blade. And thanks to its surprisingly versatile nature, it can slash through anything from rats to- Holy crap! Did <laughs> he just kill a dragon with that thing? <laughs> yes, he did. Wow. That reminds me of the time I made my own weapon out of a yard tool. I miss my rake blade. <laughs> everyone got really confused and offended whenever I yelled my catchphrase, Prepare to get raked! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Prepare to get raked. Oh, he's got so many different types of armor. Allows him to dig into his enemies, pogo stick style. Now, where have I seen that before? He also has a charge attack that, when unleashed, does massive damage and can even penetrate armor. If his enemy is more than a scoop's reach away, he can strike the earth to fire a dangerous spark that travels along the ground. Hmm. You know what else it's good for? Digging up all of that sweet, sweet treasure. But the Shovel Blade is far from his only weapon. Throughout his journey, Shovel Knight has acquired many magical relics, which are quite handy in battle. Though they do require access to a limited supply of magic to use. Hmm. He can set stuff on fire with the Flare Wand, or punch through compact dirt with the Dust Knuckles. 
He can also take the wind out of his enemies with the throwing anchor or fly a short distance with the propeller dagger. If Shovel Knight needs to kill bad guys in those hard to reach spaces, he has his chaos fear, which acts like a bouncy ball of doom. He also possesses the mobile gear, a mechanism which allows him to traverse dangerous terrain such as spikes and small gaps with ease. Huh. Uh, mobile gear. But my it looks like a really complicated indie game. Horn, which is kind of like the Horn of Gondor, <laughs> but it makes people explode. Oh, God. Shovel Knight carries a few defensive relics as well. Yeah, like those sweet fish goblets. You mean the Truple Chalice. These special liquid receptacles can carry icons, substances which, when drunk, provide certain benefits to Shovel Knight. Most notably, the Ichor of Renewal, which fully restores his health and magic. Oh. And how do you get such a useful liquid? From a bunch of fish that perform an interpretive dance and spit in your cup. It's dinner <laughs> and a show. Okay. Last but not least is the Phase Locket. This relic allows Shovel Knight to pass through his enemies and even grants him temporary invincibility while under its effect. Hmm. Like all good knights, our shovel-wielding friend protects himself with a suit of shining armor. Actually, he's got a few of them. His most capable all-around set is the Dynamo Mail. Along with providing the kind of defense you need for fighting the forces of evil, it has an added bonus. Hitting just about anything with his shovel drop builds up a power. Look at that! You can bounce practically everywhere. Suit of armor comes with a lot of extra weight, but Shovel Knight doesn't let that slow him down. That actually looks really fun. I might have to look into getting this game. Never tires and is agile enough to dodge. I know it's on Steam. Cannonballs to fireballs. Actually, the weight is more of a bonus since his attack of choice is bouncing on heads. Huh. Math that. On it, comparing his height to these doors, Shovel Knight appears to be about four feet six inches tall. Given his broad physique, he likely weighs approximately 100 pounds at most. Hmm. In the 14th century, a knight's plate armor for combat typically weighed about 60 pounds. Scaling to Shovel Knight's height, his armor likely weighs 50 pounds. Including the five pound shovel, he must drop with a force of over 6,700 joules of kinetic energy. In wow. comparison, Mike Tyson can punch with up to 1,600 joules. Huh. Oh, oh shit. The ring. And Shovel Knight strikes so he possesses as much stopping power as Mike Tyson? Dear God. Was able to take down the entire order of Be the no order of no quarter. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Wow. And the can hold his breath indefinitely. He's also stubborn enough to hold his breath underwater for an impressively indefinite amount of time. Huh. And he even held his own against the Battle Toads and Kratos. The upcoming Kratos? Wait, wait, he fought the Battle Toads? Yeah. Holy shit, that's actually Kratos! What the <laughs> fuck? Games, you can get anybody. But even that's all that, pretty cool. <laughs> Intelligent warrior. After all, the only reason he gave up on Shield Knight for so long is because he just assumed she was dead. Now, oh. he's one deadly warrior who isn't afraid to put his enemies six feet under. You know, because he digs souls and stuff. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I, I, this ain't Macy Strange, but I think I have to go with Scrooge McDuck on this one. I feel like uh, he's, he's got a few more weapons than Shovel Knight does, and he's a bit smarter, and plus they said that he gets really angry and shit. I feel like that even though Shovel Knight has all those armors and shit, I think that if Scrooge gets mad, he'll be able to trump all Shovel Knight's yeah. armor. What do you think? The only, the only thing is like, the Shovel Knight, he has that little in invulnerability. He does have that one invulnerability move, but I, I highly doubt that can last well, long. That's probably so on a timer. I have to give it to Scrooge McDuck. Alright, so we're both on Scrooge here. Yeah. Alright. Because he's gonna get so angry. Yeah, I think his, I think at one point, once he gets angry, it'll be, it'll be done there. And even then, he still has, he's got guns and swords, so he, he definitely knows his shit, Scrooge. And I think Shovel Knight's not intelligent to like... Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah, now, no. now, they didn't say anything about Scrooge being smart, but I mean, obviously, he's got to be a bit smarter to, to get where, to get where he is. Yeah, exactly. So he's got to be a bit smarter to get where he is, so... Seriously, you will love how good it feels and It may seem Food. really strange. I know, it's strange. Yeah, they've been advertising Blue Apron like That's every death battle now. But right now, it's All right. Scroogey McDuckers. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I can't wait for their confrontation. It's gonna be some kind of really funny thing with treasure. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's gonna find Scrooge's stash. <laughs> oh, that was cute. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's Scrooge's stash. Yep. Uh oh. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, wait a minute, they are fighting in his mansion, so he does have cannonballs and shit wired all over the place, too. I totally forgot about that. My god, I recognize all these 8-bit sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so familiar. Oh, the, fi the flare rod. He's just launching his own shit at him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh. Cannon! <laughs> I tell you, he's got his whole house is booby-trapped. Oh, a fishing rod. Okay, then. Woo! Ah, his gold pool! <laughs> oh, the gold! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> It's just so cute and funny. <laughs> ah! Oh, actually, wait. Shovel Knight's gonna do a bit more damage by that hop. Oh, the dust knuckles. Uh oh. Scrooge, your gold being threatened. Oh, 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 those anti inertia yeah, rays. And the newer friction ray. Oh boy. This might fuck up Shovel Knight pretty bad. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 oh. Oh! 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 Fucking decapitated him! Oh! Nice! Damn, that's cold. With his own weapon. Oh, that was awesome. Been able to uphold the code Scrooge one. But he could not hold up to Scrooge's wealth of experience and superior strength. Aside from the extra hundred plus years of experience he's got over Shovel Knight. Scrooge's feet blew him out of the water. <laughs> For example, there's no way that Shovel could have put him down very quickly when he's powered through a minefield like it's nothing. And remember how he threw a coin across the Potomac River and rode across fast enough to catch it? Uh well, we know the average width of the river is 1,300 feet, and he threw the coin at an angle of 20 degrees. After some quick calculations, this means he must have thrown the coin, boarded his boat, rowed across the entire river, and exited the boat to catch the coin in less than 5.4 seconds. My this God. means he must have been rowing the boat at speeds well over 164 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> Jesus, how fast that is are his nuts. Arms that, that, that's cartoon greediness for work, you. Bet your Mr. Krabs can pull off shit like that too. Rotations per minute. That's ducking awesome. <laughs> that's that's strong enough to rip apart a steamboat after all. But regardless of Scrooge's power, Shovel Knight had very little options to defend against the duck's wackier Yeah, I was gonna say, weapons. those ray guns those really messed him up. Some time could only last for so long due to his limited supply of magic. Plus, Scrooge has fought knights and magicians before, while Shovel Knight never fought anyone quite like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Looks like Shovel Knight dug his own grave. Wow, <laughs> nice. Scrooge McDuck. Oh, that was a funny one. I enjoyed yeah. that. That was really funny. All right. Next time okay. on All right, who's it gonna be? What do we got? <gasps> Venom! Oh yes! yes! Venom! <laughs> oh yes, baby! Dude! Oh! Venom is my favorite Marvel villain! I love Venom! Sweet. Hey guys, I'm Chad, I play Boomstick. I'm Ben, I play Wiz, and next time we've oh. got... Oh, my Venom. Oh, so good. I'm gonna theorize that he's gonna go up against Alex Mercer from Prototype. If you're familiar with that. Okay. Basically, he's kind of like his arms operating. You know Carnage, right? The, the red symbiote? Okay. Alex Mercer's arms are like red symbiotic shit that can morph into weapons, kind of like how Carnage can. Okay. And. I think that I think he would match up against Venom pretty well, so I'm gonna predict Alex Mercer from Prototype. But that was oh, okay. You mean him? You, you, you've heard of Prototype, no? Yeah, I heard of Prototype. It's a pretty. It's, a, it's like a plat. Game. It's like um third person random game. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that that battle was awesome and hilarious. Really funny to see Scrooge win that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for those who react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!